flow, this is Bob Davis 321. Back once again doing a projector comparison, but somebody suggested I find a place where I could set up multiple projectors. So here we have three projectors. On the right we have an Epson EMP S1 or something like that. It's uh, 1200 lumens ANSI. Next we have the CL321, and then over here we have the pile, a bunch of letters in a 907 if I remember right. And in my hand, I have a LX1010B light meter. Now, if you use a roughly three foot by four foot screen, the light intensity translates out roughly to the lumens within 20% without going through all the math. So the uh, 1200 lumen projector gives me about 430, 440, 450, 460 in that area. But that could be a used bulb and only have half the brightness it should have. Now, to get this projector, I have to cover that one. The pile gives me 230, 240, 230 in that range. And then the LX one, what I'll need to do is move the pile out of the way, move it over. I mean, in theory, you have to have a totally black room to get a really good reading. So these readings will be augmented a little bit by the room lighting and by the other projector. Wow, that, that really looks dark dead center, like there's something wrong with it. Anyways. That's interesting now, it's dark dead center. I'm um, getting a reading of 100. 98, 100. So by using that definition, roughly a 4 foot by 3 foot screen is 12 square feet by multiplied by 0.9 and a whole bunch of numbers gives you roughly 0 0.1 times the uh, or gives you one times the lux equal the lumens. So if I get a reading of 400 lumens on the Epson S1, it was 200 on the uh, pile and 100 on the 130, 1. Yep, 100. So that's three projectors. Also, I don't know why it's got a dark spot in the middle. I've never noticed that before. Next, I'll put up a test pattern for you. test pattern to look at the relative sharpness. Again, you'll see the EMP S1 has a nice sharp picture. The CL312 again is a little bit darker in the middle. We'll see if we can focus it a little bit better. But typically the cheaper projectors, you can get a nice sharp focus here, but you get out here and you've got color separation, line separation, etc. And we'll bring the uh, pile projector back in. It blows things up so big it makes it kind of hard to uh, see good. But and I'm at such an angle too that it affects top to bottom. But again, typically the sharpness is not as good. It's nice and sharp in the middle. I got the other projector when I step aside. The sharpness is nice and sharp in the middle, but you go to the outside edges and it's blurry. And that's also an effect of using a short throw lens. This uses a real short throw. Look up here, try to focus it for that. Yeah, there is no focus for that. There's also a certain amount of um, keystone because I'm on such an angle. And the keystone on these cheap projectors don't work all that great. 
trying to remember where the keystone knob is for this one. I can't even find it. There it is. There, that's keystone correction. And again, it's not sharp around the edges at all, which is typical of a short throw projector. So, that's all for now.